pickleball is a rapidly growing sport in the US and around the world. With its rapid growth, there is increasing demand for certified pickleball coaches. The level one play pickle certification course allows for passionate pickleball coaches to enhance their development. What are the benefits of this course? Firstly, global recognition. It validates your skills, knowledge, and technical aptitude. Play Pickle is recognized internationally. Secondly, competitive edge. In this rapid growing market of pickleball coaching, it is very important that we equip ourselves with the necessary certification to give our students peace of mind. And finally, the third benefit is you'll be part of the Play Pickle Network, where coaches and passionate pickleball players share their knowledge and resources. So let's get started with the course so you can become part of the family. Module one, safety and well-being. As pickleball coaches, our students' safety is a top priority. One thing we need to look out for is the court surface. And when I'm talking about court surface, let's look for any discrepancies that might cause injury to our students. We have to ensure that the surface is smooth and that there's no cracks. On top of this, we also need to look out for court fixtures that might be a health hazard to our students. For example, unstable structures around the court. As you can see here, everything is stable. When we look at the net, the net poles, as well as the surrounding fence. And the next key point when we talk about safety and well-being, let's talk about equipment, specifically the paddles. Firstly, I need to ensure that the thickness of the grip or the handle is suitable for my student's hand size. This will prevent the paddle from slipping out of the hand and they start to get a bit sweaty if the grip is too small, right? Then we also got to think about the weight of the paddle, whether it's too heavy for our students to use. So this will depend on their natural ability as well as their level of strength. So that's one thing to think about is the paddle and how we need to be using it safely. Now we move on to the next point, the physical condition of our students. We need to take note of any prior injuries or illnesses that they had before the session. For example, let's say they just recovered from an ankle injury. With this knowledge, I need to tailor the session to suit their physical ability at that moment in time. If I know they just recovered from an ankle injury, I'm gonna ensure that I don't push them too hard on the footwork drills. Now we move on to the next key point, moving from physical to mental well-being of our students. As coaches, we need to lead by example. We need to communicate respectfully to our students, as well as provide constructive feedback. And remember, the learning journey and process takes priority over results. And the final key point for this module is student expectations. How do we manage student expectations? Well, firstly, we need to know what the intentions are of our students. What are their goals? And this will vary from student to student. That's why good communication is absolutely necessary. We need to know what the student wants out of their lessons. There we can tailor a structured lesson plan for each student based on their goals. This concludes module one, safety and well-being. See you in the next module.